All right, so today we're gonna to be making a free website through Google Sites. Now, to get there, I just went to Google and searched Google Sites, and you'll see it's the first result here. That's sites.google.com. Now, Google Sites is incredible because as long as you have a Google account, you can essentially make a free website, um, and it's really, really easy to use. So when I go to Google Sites, um, you can see the option to start a new site. So if we wanted to start from scratch, we could click on blank, um, and I can view some of my other recent sites down below here. But what I'm gonna do to get started is instead of going blank, I'm going to start with a template because, you know, I'm kinda tight on time here. I wanna make a pretty quick site. I wanna make this video as uh, simple as possible for you guys. And since we're doing a portfolio site, right, I want a place where I can showcase my work, my artwork, um, I'm going to click on portfolio. And of course, you can really customize any of these. For example, even though this says restaurant, you could definitely make this into a portfolio site if you want. Everything is highly customizable. But we'll go ahead and get started with the personal portfolio site. So I clicked on that, and after doing so, it just takes a little bit to load. And then from there, I can start to customize it. So I might call this... Um, my portfolio really original name there <laughs> and then hi i'm jessica and we'll say an artist from orlando and this is not me so we'll need to go ahead and update that now to edit things like I did here, all I did was click on the box and from there I can just type over it. I could also customize the font, you know, choosing a different header if I want to, making it bold, italic, change the alignment, a lot of different things you could do here. I could also add more to these boxes if I wanted to. But for now, I'll go ahead and just update this image here. So I'll click on it and then we'll go ahead and choose more editing options. From there you'll see replace image and that's where you'll want to upload your image. Okay, so I just selected the self-portrait that I did um, in a separate tutorial. This was through Google Drawing. Um, so I just went ahead and uploaded that there. Now again, there's a lot I can do with these different sections. Uh, so for example, in this section, I might want to change the background. Maybe we want something with more color to it or maybe we want a full image in the background. Um, there's a lot of different things that you guys can do and you can also rearrange these panels if you wanted to. Uh, so a lot of cool stuff here and then I'm gonna delete this section. I just don't really need it. I don't know how that got there. Um, and then I can have selected work. So this might be where I'd go and feature some of my work. Now let's say that I just want this to be um, photos. So I have a few options, you know, I could have a slide, a Google slide, and that could be one way that I showcase my work here. And maybe I have a photo here, then maybe I do a video of another piece. You know, you could really customize these different sections. Um, but I think for my purposes, I just want to do photos. So I'm just clicking on the one I want to delete and hitting delete. And then from there, I can actually move, you know, maybe another image panel up a little bit. I can go to placeholder here and that's going to give me a placeholder for whatever I want to put in later on. Um, so just another cool option there and I can always duplicate this later on as well to place underneath that. Um, so yeah, a lot of cool ways I can go about building out uh, this website. So I'm going to go ahead and click on upload and from there I can choose uh, the image that I want to upload to this project. All right, so here's like a close-up of an image that I did. Um, I'll just go ahead and call it acrylic textured landscape. But I wanna be able to show more, right? This is just a close-up. I had a lot more photos that went along with this. So to do that, what I wanna do is I wanna link it to another page that has more information about this piece. So to do that, I already have a project page template here. Um, so this is kind of built into uh, the template I selected, but I could always duplicate this. So this one's going to be my landscape project page. And then from there, I can go and do the same thing. I could upload some additional pictures to go along with it. So, okay, I think this one might fit well for that um, horizontal shape that we have here. I'm going to go ahead and insert another image here. 
All right, and then we're going to add one more to this box here. So upload, and then I'll go ahead and pick my final image. And you can always add more sections to this too. You know, just like we showed before, in each of these different sections, we can just go insert and we can add other images. We can add other layouts. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff that you can do. And this is where I talk about my image. And then of course, you know, my project name. And you guys can give it a much more creative name. But yeah, so then a lot more I can do. If I don't want this section, you know, it's as easy as just hitting delete and that will clear out those sections. And then I would just wanna make sure that I'm linking these to my next page. So right now this just links to Google, but I wouldn't want it to link to Google. I would wanna make sure that I edit this and then enter the link for my next projects page. So to show you how that works, let's go back to the home page. And now I want to link this to that new page. So I'm gonna go and click on it and choose insert link. And I'm gonna choose landscape project, apply. I'm gonna do the same thing for the text here, link, landscape project, apply. All right, so I now have a link to that second page. So now that I know that this is the page, you know, I could always copy the URL from up here. Um, so once I have that other project page, that's what I would want to do is just copy that URL. I can click up here and then I could just paste it into that box. Um, but otherwise, you know, you can customize really everything. You can customize the header up here, which uh, ones I want to show in the navigation, which ones I don't. Um, so this is how you would hide it from the navigation, just clicking on the drop downs to the side and clicking hide from navigation. You can add sub pages to each of these. You can add about page for yourself. Um, a lot of cool stuff you can do. I just wanted to give you a quick overview to kind of get you started, um, but I can't see, I can't wait to see where you guys go with this. Oh, so one other thing, and then once I'm done with all my edits and everything, I would just come up here to publish, and then I can add a custom URL if I wanted to, um, but, you know, for my current purposes, I'm not going to. I'm just going to call this um, Garrity Portfolio. And we'll see if that's available and it is okay so i would just copy that if i wanted to i can always copy it on the next page but anyways got my url here and then i would hit publish and that's going to make this live so that way i could share this url with individuals and later on i could always buy a domain name if i wanted to and connect it that way uh, all right so that is our quick run through of how to set up a Google portfolio site. Um, as you can see, there's a lot more that you can do, but I just wanted to give you a quick overview to get you started with creating your sites. Uh, so hopefully you found this helpful. Let me know if you have any questions at all.